girl, it's time for the Santa Says Show. We love being actors. Get in, losers. It's time for the Sun of Sun Show. Sun of Sun, 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 Sun of Sun. Welcome back to the <laughs> Sunnisa Show, your most, the most iconic show on WTMP. I'm your favorite host, Donna. And I'm your least favorite host, Meg. So, um, the Oscars were last night, and for, for some reason, we weren't invited. Uh, why? I don't know. Probably because we would upstage all of these nominees, so <laughs> like, it's okay. I mean, that's what I was thinking. Right. Okay. But a lot happened, obviously, as if you were watching, you'd know. So, let's get into it. Um, to start, my favorite part of the night was when they were talking, they sang the We Don't Talk About Bruno performance, and oh my god, Megan the Stallion went off oh. it was so iconic i was laying in bed just doing my homework like i wasn't i was paying attention but i wasn't right. like too much paying attention and then all of a sudden she just like went off and i was like oh yeah go queen go okay i didn't watch it <laughs> i didn't i didn't watch the oscars i was here last night um with doing news and doing the shows um i heard about it i listened to a little part of it i, I liked it i listened good. to the megan the stallion part and i did like it i was like okay Pop off, queen. It was really good. It was, yeah, sure. No, I I really okay. liked it. Um, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> no, but before that performance. <laughs> oh, before <laughs> the performance. Now this, I was trying to go to bed. I was on TikTok. <laughs> and this just was blowing up my TikTok all so day. So this was where I was like, whoa. Also, okay, first of all, Will Smith. This laptop com. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All I wanted to say was, was laugh.com. <laughs> Is there a laugh track? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Um, so I think that he first of all, do we have a uh um, so I want to compare this slap there. My friend um I slapped last summer and he gave me permission a hundred percent. And I just like I want to compare these slaps right now. Um roll the tape. Roll it. We'll wait. Richard! <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! I know, folks. Come on! Oh! Fun. <laughs> that was great. That um, was great. That was awesome. I think it was... <laughs> I think it would have been more awesome if... Um, <laughs> I don't know. I lost my train of thought. I think my slap was 10 times I better. I think your slap was 10 times better. I think maybe <laughs> it was a little bit more appropriate. I think my slap was a little bit more Do aggressive. Do you think that was real? Yes. Yes, because, oh, here, I have some tea about it. Oh, so I, I looked up, so this is, uh, this is um, a thousand percent. Thousand percent true. A thousand percent. Um, so the LAPD did actually look into it. Um, wow. It was they said it was two male, uh, two males got into an altercation uh, last night at the uh, Oscars. Um, press it, charges were not pressed, but if charges want to be pressed, the LAPD will help him. I'm assuming Chris Rock. Right. Um, and I don't think that he I wants to press charges. Would. I don't think. What he made would me either. mad was that he and what I really wanted to talk about, and that's is why I wanted to bring it up. Mm -hmm. um, and I know like we were joking about it, but what I really wanted to bring up is entitlement. How are you so entitled that you can stand up in the middle of an award ceremony that is not about you, that is not anything, it is, we are here for the movies, we are here for everyone, we're here for other people, and you feel so entitled to get up on that stage when you're defending who? The wife that you've cheated on? Uh, T. Sh I, didn't she cheat on him? They both cheated on each oh, other. T, I didn't know that. I just, just thought she got in an entanglement with... Um, no, I thought it was just her, but I, I completely, I a thousand percent. Kanye moment. I agree. Um, it was a Kanye moment, a thousand it percent. So was it? So was it was so Kanye. And like Will Smith, I feel like too. We were talking about this when we were um, planning the show today. Um, 
is not like that. Like, he's a very, like, calm person. I and think I, he's got a lot of demons. I'm sure he does. But I, I think it was not appropriate at all. Like, this is no. the Oscars. This is a very formal event well did you see oh my god we should have brought it we should have had it zendaya there's a video of zendaya and it's her just like texting, <laughs> texting on her yeah. phone and it's like zendaya well, texting was, tom the yeah. entire time about well, it i was laughing so many comparisons to like zendaya watching um cassie and maddie <laughs> fight on euphoria too which see, i, no, I didn't was see that great. Was, that's funny yeah that's another thing so after the whole will smith well mm -hmm. i think this was before the will smith slap um they did some fashion stuff for yes. the um i mean kind of moving on taking a big jump into a different direction. Um, they did a lot of fashion. I think, what was the other ones? Um, I know Cruella DeVille was the one that won, and that was why I really wanted to talk about it. Have mm -hmm. you ever seen that movie, Cruella? No. I really wanted to watch it when I was going to Vegas. It was in my downloaded mm -hmm. movies to watch, and I just didn't get a chance to watch it. Yeah, she... Um, but I love Emma Stone. Emma Stone, it, what, yeah, here, you can see a photo it's here. The costume, great. costume design. I, I totally slipped my mind who I should have wrote down who the... Um, costume designer was. She was a little have, old lady. Didn't. She was so beautiful and she really wanted to, um, she, I remember she said that she really wanted to curate um, Cruella and the dogs and really wanted to oh. tell the story of Cruella and the dogs and more so not see Cruella in a negative light, see her in a more of a positive light. I love that. I love that. Um, <laughs> I don't have... Okay, so moving on. Even <laughs> though we weren't able to walk the red carpet, whatever. We, um, have, we should bring our own. We really sh <laughs> We have one. <laughs> we we should have run it out. Um, as fashion icons, we still have our favorite fits of the Ooh, night. So, Meg, yeah. you go first with Material your Material girl. Okay. All right. Hey. No, I want no, 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 no. Your favorite red carpet fit. Who is your favorite person Oh, I thought we were doing carpet? fit checks. No, not yet. I got a little bit too ahead of myself. Yeah, you sure did. Um, I don't know her name. Jessica Castain. Thank you. Nat had to tell us. I didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> I said, who Cassie. is this? Um, she won um, Best Dress in My Eyes. She also won an, her, an individual award. And just the way that she was so uh, well-spoken, she took the time to um, talk about the women and children in Ukraine and how they're oh. losing rights. Um, and sh that's what she took her time to really talk about. Um, and then she also talked a lot about her um, children. And how, like, they're the light of her life and everything. And I was like, that's just so cute. Plus, cute. I really liked, um, I just really liked the dress. I it thought was it was a, very, yeah, it was very pretty. Very I love pretty, the color. Very different. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, mine was um, Queen Zendaya. Um, if we can pull it up. <laughs> Look at that. She's beautiful. I mean, I think anything Zendaya she wears. Zendaya is so stunning. She kills it at every single award show she goes to. She kills it. I'm a, honestly. I, I'm very happy that she didn't. <laughs> okay. Let me backtrack. I, I was gonna say I'm very happy that say. she didn't bring Tom, but at the oh, same time, oh, but at the same time, I wish that she brought Tom because mm -hmm. then I feel like it could have showcased their relationship more. Yeah. But I think that last night was about her. Yeah. It wasn't about Tom. It's about Zendaya. But oh, I don't know why Tom wasn't there because all the Spider-Man movies. I don't either. Uh, that was. Oh, he oh, must he, be filming okay, something. Our producer's telling. Our AP is telling us. I was he's gonna say. Something. Do we know what he's filming? An Apple TV series he's we'll filming, definitely apparently. Have to look into that. Okay. T. All right. Well, now it's time for everyone's favorite segment the Fit Check. <laughs> fit Check. Do, 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 do. Uh, I really okay. want to get a little like. <laughs> like I. Run. I used to have the um, remote from iCarly, <laughs> actually. But let's get into the Fit right. Check. So we're going to start with the top. I do have the shades on. I can take them off. So you can see my eyes. Okay, so to start off, Jill, let's see. We have the iconic Real Housewives of Syracuse. I just want to let everyone know I found this at the Oswego thrift shop here mm -hmm. in Oswego. My mom wants that hat. She looked on Etsy <laughs> to find it for, like, hours. And she couldn't I love find it. it. <laughs> then I have my 1D um, sunglasses on today because, you know, got a lot of dark circles, so we got to cover <laughs> those up. Well, not a lot of sleep this weekend. Um, and then we got, I just have this little crew neck that, again, is from thrift store. Um, I think this is very Y2K. It has this here. And then I have my velvety um, pants on with the classic <laughs> bear paw. I mean, how can you go wrong? Um, again, the snow came back. I'm sure we all did not like that. Um, so, material girl. <laughs> That's okay. all I got today. Okay, you're done. Nat, our AP, told us that I needed to allot more time for the fit checks because you take over mine. That's what she said. Well, maybe you should just be more Don't enthusiastic. Don't even say it. I'm more enthusiastic. Come on, do it. You're what? wasting your own time. Shut up. <laughs> okay, my fit check's better. 
Um, because it features Santana Lopez. My fa this is my favorite shirt. My favorite shirt, Santana Lopez. And then I layered it underneath this black and white striped shirt. I'm covering Megan. Okay. And then I have, these are my favorite jeans. Um, get out. These are my favorite jeans. American Eagle. I think they're boyfriend jeans. I don't really know. She's worn them on the show before. But sh No, I haven't. I dead. Um, I really, <laughs> I really have not worn worn these on the show. Megan's a liar, guys. And then I have my my Vans, <laughs> my skater girl Vans. She was a skater boy. She said, "See you later, boy." He wasn't good enough for her. <sighs> it's been a day and a half, but yeah. don't go anywhere because after the break, <laughs> we are going to talk about the best and worst show on television. Can you guess what it is? We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Athletic, Aaron, there are six big points. This is the one you've been waiting for. This group has never beaten Cortland. Getting started with some men's soccer as the Lakers had two conference matchups for half of the Lakers' goals this entire season. Offense what? is key. You talked all about scoring goals. Good evening and welcome to WTOP 10 Nightly News. For the governor race with a strong lead, former Governor Andrew Cuomo is... Barlow announced the completion of a large building mural in downtown Oswego. The renovations on the Hewitt Union building, turning it into the new Hewitt Hall. And as we move into tomorrow, that rain is going to be in our area. Moving to the Diamond now, a Sweet Caroline got a lot sweeter last night. Life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire, but you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at gradsoflife.org. We've been marinating chicken in all sorts of liquids for 24 hours. These are vitamins and minerals and things that you need, nutrients. Oh, the chicken speedy is a staple of our culture. Go. <laughs> oh, we're live. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to the Senate Show, the most entertaining show on WTOP. So, Donna. So, Glee. Sorry, wait, hang on. Okay, sorry. <laughs> this is a hot mess, honestly. But you know what? It's good, because this is the Glee episode, so it has to be a hot mess. Um, I want to talk about Glee for just a second. Let's just preface this before. I, Donna's a huge Glee fan. I'm a huge Glee fan. I, I am have, not. Megan's not, so I'm going to bring in a fellow Glee here, Scott Brubaker. Let's give him a round of applause, people. Yay, Scott! Yes, right here, Scott. Scott, show off your shirt. Show off your little fit. Fit check, yes. <laughs> oh yeah, do you do a little fit check? <laughs> you can do a little costume. We start my, oh, hi. So we start with my flannel because Lane and I match on Mondays. Got my Glee shirt as always. Because you have to and match And the jeans me. are, they're just jeans, whatever. And then I always have my Crocs on. Always rocking always the Crocs. Always rocking the Croc. All right, thank you, Croc Scott. Croc King. Thank you, Scott. Woo, yeah, that's it, bye. We love you, bye. Get out. Okay. T. Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, I want to talk about Glee just for a second um, because Glee is a very important show for me. Mm -hmm. um, I started watching Glee during when the pandemic first started. Mm -hmm. um, it helped me realize a lot of things about myself, mm -hmm. specifically Santana Lopez. She's, did she pass away? Yes, Naya Rivera, RIP. Um, while I was watching the show, I was on like season three um, is when Naya Rivera died. Mm. And it was not hard for me. I stopped watching the show for about like a solid three months. Because you fell in love with the character. Because I fell in love with Santana. Um, and it was, I, I like couldn't believe that this girl was dead, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. Which 
is harsh to say, but I mean, it's true. No, yeah. I don't think anyone did. So I stopped watching it for a little bit and then I continued and I've probably watched it four times since then. And Santana Lopez will always have a place in my heart. Um, I named my car <laughs> Santana. I have Santana stickers on my car. Obviously, I have my favorite shirt. Um, so she just means a lot to me and I wanted to do a little Glee episode because it was <laughs> truly a terrible show. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, because Megan didn't really watch Glee, <laughs> we created a little show with um, our floor manager, Jill Plant, because she just says the most She's funny and weird she things. Does, Jill is like an onion. <laughs> Not in a mean way. And this is in the she most endearing like way. Yes, th this is in the most, like, you could say, like, I'm in, like, an onion. Everyone's, like, an onion. Everyone has, has Like, it's layers. just, it, everyone has layers. Mm -hmm. But Jill is someone that, when I first met her, I thought she was a completely different person. Mm -hmm. And I love her. Yeah, me she too. She is my whole heart and soul. Jill is the Britney S. Pierce of yes, WTOP. Yes, yes, yes. So <laughs> we're going to play a game called Who Said It? Britney S. Pierce or Jill Plant. All right. Let's pull up the first <laughs> question. And we're going to ask our crew who they think said it. And you can go to, I know who said it um, <laughs> because I am an avid Glee watcher. But the first one is, <laughs> my mom put my cat in the dryer. <laughs> who said it, Brittany S. Pierce or Jill? Or Jill? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> who do we think? <laughs> <laughs> who do you think? I think it's Jill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Megan thinks it's Jill. I already know the answer. We're, yeah. we're, gonna, yeah. we're gonna get the crew's <laughs> opinion very shortly, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> but who is it? Tell me. Who do I think it is? Yeah. Who is it? Who said it? Jill. Okay. Next. <laughs> All right. Keep going, Jill. Keep going. Next. We love Jill. We love Jill. <laughs> All right. Who we got next? Who's next? Oh, no. Um, I think Jill said it. Okay. I want to say Brittany. Okay. Ooh. Brittany. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jill. Okay. Oh, Nat said, let me Jill. get that mic. Definitely Jill. Okay. I know it was you, Jill. <gasps> <laughs> Look at Heather with the little turntables. Heather she got the headphones on. that it was Jill. <laughs> Jack, what do you think? Well, Jack, Jack said it was me, too. Oh. Okay. Everyone is pretty much right. It was okay. Jill. <laughs> Jill. <laughs> I'm not going to elaborate on that because we don't have time, but <laughs> after the show, I would like to elaborate on <laughs> she that. She just randomly said it one the other day. Okay, anyway, get, what's Moving the next on. one? Uh, second. second. Sometimes I forget my middle name. Who said it? I'm going to go with it's Brittany. You think it's Brittany? Yeah. Okay. Who said it? I think. Okay. Brittany. Let's see. Here we go. Into the control room. Na -na 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 -na. Definitely Brittany. Okay. Okay. Brittany. Okay. Brittany. All right. Brittany. Okay. Brittany. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be an outlier and say Jill. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> I have okay. the real answer. Do you think um, if I put this Brittany. all in, I could put this all in my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The answer was Brittany. I thought I could stump you guys with that one, but you didn't. Um, no, I won. You did what? Good job. Next. Okay. Next one. I'm bilingual. Who said it? <laughs> Jill or I'm Brittany? Gonna I hope it's Jill. I hope Jill's bilingual. Okay. I'm going to go with Jill. Jill. Jill, okay. This one's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, Brittany. <laughs> okay, Brittany. I'm going to say Jill. Jill. I'm going to say Brittany. Brittany, really this one's split so Jill. far. Jill. Brittany. Brittany. I think Brittany. Brittany, okay. Brittany. 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 Okay. okay. This one was pretty split. Um, the answer is Brittany S. Pierce. No. It is. I'll explain to you the context later. We don't have time for this last <laughs> but one. But yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Shout out to our girl, Jill, Shout though. Shout out to Jill. For always understanding and, and keeping us entertained. Yeah, thank you for keeping us entertained. I don't know what we would do without but you. Finally, <laughs> um, the question is, is it... <laughs> Is it going to be a real baby? Is it going to be a real baby? Who said it? Tell Speed me. round. Speed round. Who said it? Who Brittany. Said it? You ask me. You tell me. Brittany? I know. We I know all said, said Brittany. It. For this one, Jill. is it going to be no. a real oh, baby? Oh, she's a Jill. Okay. I agree, Jill. 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 Jill for sure. Jill. I think Jill. Jill. Yes, Jill. 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 
What did you say? Who was it? Meg, what did you say? I said Brittany. It was Jill. <laughs> <laughs> it was, okay. Is we'll it going to be a real baby? Is it going to be a real baby? All right, well, shout out to you, <laughs> no. Jill. Yeah, shout, thank you so much, Jill, for keeping us entertained. Yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> but stick around, because after the show, we'll have your killer question of the day. Yay. We've been marinating chicken in all sorts of liquids for 24 hours. These are vitamins and minerals and things that you need, nutrients. Oh, the chicken speedy is a staple of our culture. with your bike donating it to goodwill may be the most incredible of all goodwill donate stuff create jobs good evening and welcome to wtop 10 nightly news for the governor race with a strong lead former governor andrew cuomo is barlow announced the completion of a large building mural in downtown oswego the renovations on the hewitt union building turning it into the new hewitt hall and as we move into tomorrow that rain is going to be in our area Moving to the diamond now, a sweet Caroline got a lot sweeter last night. Favorite part of Monday nights, the Sunnyside show. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we need to take these off. All right, well, Maggie, what time is it? It is question of the day! Do -do -do -do. Oh, I love that graphic. It's, it's so great. Pretty. Shout out to our girl Mia. Woo woo! We love her. She's going to be an icon one day. Yes. Graphic icon. Look at that. Um, it looks great. It really does. Sorry. So, <laughs> I'm going to take my sunglasses off for this because we are going to get a little bit serious here. Um, okay, let me put my handcuffs on. <laughs> uh, so the question of the day is, what would you say to someone struggling with mental health? Um, the reason I chose this question today specifically is because with the end of the semester coming around, um, with us both leaving college, um, I know I'm experiencing a lot of mental health, um, especially applying for jobs, um, dealing with friends, dealing with boys, dealing with boys or girls, or I mean, all of <laughs> the them, the theys, the all of them. Um, I think that that this is the reason why I really wanted to choose this because I think sometimes people don't know what to say to another friend and people don't really know what to do or where to go. Sure. Um, I know here on campus um, at SUNY Oswego, there's also only one mental health counselor um, with a population of what we are and especially when seasonal depression is it's at its peak oh my God. here in Oswego. I really think that um, this is kind of like a service announcement uh, for us as students. We should really push for more mental health here on campus. And I know that we're leaving, so there's not much we can do. Right. Um, but the next generation of students and the people after that, I really think that this is something that um, is huge. And I think it's not talked about. And I think with our generation, we tend to talk about it a lot more because we're not afraid to. Because right. it's something that we all deal with, and mm -hmm. we know we all deal with it. And for I guarantee sure. everyone in this room has depression and anxiety yeah. solely because of the environment that we've grown up in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so many people older than us are like, oh, all of you guys have problems. Everyone has anxiety. Everyone has depression. Yeah, exactly. And we're not going to just sit here and like let it happen, basically. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, getting back to the question, um, 
I am not a person who deals with emotions very well. Mm. Um, so a lot of the times when people come up to me and are emotional, I kind of like have no response and like don't know exactly what to say or do. So I always am just like, I'm here for you if you ever need to talk about anything. Um, Cause I don't really know what else to say, honestly. Yeah. I know someone for me, when I go to my friends, all I really want is just a shoulder, like someone to be there and like something serious that I want to tell everyone, do not feel bad going and getting help. Oh no. Going and Absolutely getting help not. saved my life. Yeah. If I haven't, if I didn't reach out to my family and my friends saying that I needed help with my mental health, I don't know what would have happened to me. Something probably not good. Um, so I really think that you shouldn't be afraid to go to a therapist. You shouldn't be afraid to talk about medication. You shouldn't be afraid to go and tell your friend that you're not feeling well. Absolutely. Um, because it's okay and people should not, maybe, sure, therapy doesn't work for everyone. Sure, maybe medicine doesn't work for everyone, but giving it a try and being open-minded to it, I think um, is something that people our age really need to start um, being more about. I think a lot of the times when I talk to my friends and they're struggling, I'm like, oh, so what are you doing to combat that? What right. are you, what are your coping skills that you do? Nothing. Nothing. You know, they don't know. Cause they don't know exactly. Yeah. Cause they don't know where to go. So my, my call to action now is go get help because you will thank yourself in the long run. Yeah. And I think, um, it just advice for like the friend is check on your friends, mm. check on, your friends who seem happy all the time check mm. on your friends who seem depressed all the time yeah just ask them how they're doing because 10 out of the 10 times you are the most comfortable person that they are, will be able to talk to mm. that's my experience yeah shout out to our girl melanie higgins who isn't here today we love um, you, Mel. yeah you're a true homie uh but yeah text your friend right now take out your phone and text your friend right now and tell them that you hope that they had a great day because i guarantee Do that I'll do it. <laughs> I, I, don't I wonder who I'm going to text. <laughs> Probably me. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't have I'll my phone. Else, um, I, no, but I guarantee. Take out your phone and text your friend. Say, I love you. I hope you're having a great day. And I yeah. guarantee that it'll just change. It'll change their day. It'll change your day. And just something so simple like that can yeah. make and such of a difference. Also, even it doesn't even have to be your friends. If you see someone in the hallway mm. and you really like their shirt, say it. Because mm -hmm. 10 out of 10 times, you're going to make their day. Exactly. Yes. Anytime people are like, oh, my gosh, if I, like, feel, like, crappy about myself, mm -hmm. I feel like, oh, my God. Like, my hat today. I literally was having a bad hair day. I, I came and everyone's like, I love your hat. It made me feel so happy. And, like, when I feel like crap right now, you know? Yeah. And it's just, like, those little things. And I think, especially, um, I'm not trying to, like, take away from men. I just am very woman forward. I think women, uh, us women, can deal with a lot of mental health, especially within relationships and I know mm -hmm. that we take it on um, a, a lot of a lot of different ways um, so t t take your girls and hold them close because they're all you got and your girls aren't going to leave you at the end of the day but that boy he will so really hold those girls close and I don't know no mm. more girl on girl crimes no seriously I've never been here for that well that's a lie uh, no more girl on girl crimes. But like, no I'm more. Grown up. No, because we need to. I think really, as a society, we are going in such a negative direction when it comes to mental health. Yeah. When it comes to building each other up. When it comes to being together. I think we are so negative about it. Especially, I mean, that didn't help because of the pandemic. We were all separated for so yeah. long. The um, pandemic, I think, was also a time where a lot of people realized that there was something wrong mm. because they had so much time with themselves and they didn't have those distractions. Um. And I think that that was just a difficult time for everybody. And I'm glad that we're coming out of it. And I think, I truly think we're coming out of it stronger, everybody, because they needed that realization. Yeah. I think people at the end of the day really just need to educate themselves. I yeah. think if you don't know, if your friend has mental illness or if something and you want to help them, look it up, do some research. It doesn't hurt. I mean, sure, the web doesn't always have the right stuff and take it with a grain of salt, but you know, look yeah. it up. Text your friend. Text your friends. <laughs> um, and fortunately, that is our show for today. But make sure to tune in next week because we're going to have some very special guests. Very, very special guests. We're, we're so excited. excited. Thank you. Guys.